A while ago, I uploaded a video on magnesium supplements causing heart palpitations and how to fix that. It actually helped a lot of people, so I decided to record this one for potassium supplements, which can cause the same side effects. Most guides online talk only about potassium as being something good for your heart. So when you get heart palpitations from it, it can be confusing and kind of scary. So let me explain why this happens and how to fix it with a simple adjustment. Okay, so to start, there's no doubt that potassium is crucial for heart function. It helps regulate the electrical signals that make your heart beat, and it also works together with sodium to control muscle contractions and fluid balance. In fact, low potassium is one of the classic causes of irregular heart rhythms. So why would taking potassium supplements trigger those same symptoms? What you have to understand is that your cells run on balance and not just a single nutrient. When we think about electrolytes, most people think of them in isolation. Either you're low in potassium, you're low in sodium, or maybe low in magnesium. So then you're told to take more potassium, more sodium, or more magnesium. But that's not how it works. Electrolytes exist in a system, and they regulate each other and need to stay in the right ratios, especially inside and outside of your cells. The four most important electrolytes in this case are calcium, magnesium, sodium, and potassium. Sodium and calcium hang out mostly outside the cell, and potassium and magnesium hang out mostly inside the cell. If you throw that balance off by adding too much of one of these electrolytes without supporting its counterpart, then you risk symptoms like cramping, twitching, or heart palpitations. That's why in some cases, potassium supplements can make your heart race or feel off. To fix this, we need to look at potassium's antagonists, which are sodium and calcium. When you do that, you will understand what's going on in your body. First, potassium levels go up from your supplement. This then lowers sodium or calcium levels, which creates an imbalance in your cellular electrolytes. That imbalance then affects how electrical signals are sent through your heart muscle. And lastly, this results in fluttering and irregular or rapid heartbeats. Now, of those two, so calcium and sodium, sodium is potassium's primary antagonist. Both work like a seesaw, so when you push one up, the other one needs to rise with it to stay in balance, otherwise the whole system becomes unstable. So this is the first one I would look at. Calcium is a secondary antagonist because it also balances potassium to some degree. It's often easy to forget calcium because we usually associate it with bones, but it's actually essential for muscle contractions as well. So just like in the case of sodium, when potassium goes up and calcium cannot balance this, it gets pushed down. And if your calcium levels are already borderline, then this can tip you over into symptoms. Now in practical terms, that means if your potassium supplement is causing you heart palpitations, here's what you can try to do. First, you rebalance with sodium. So if your palpitations start shortly after taking a potassium supplement, then try sipping on water with a bit of sea salt or even regular table salt if you have nothing else at home. If the symptoms then ease up, then that's a good sign that your sodium was too low to begin with and the potassium helped push it down further. If sodium doesn't fix it, then you want to look at calcium next. Calcium status in the body is a bit more complex because most people actually have too much calcium but in the wrong places and not enough in the right places. I explain this in a different video in more detail. That being said, just like with sodium, you can try a bit of a calcium supplement. A good one would be calcium citrate, for example, and then see if the heart palpitations wear off. If that fixes it, then chances are you need more bioavailable calcium in your diet. Of course, you also want to look at your potassium dose itself. Potassium is one of those electrolytes that the body needs to keep in a tight balance. If you're taking more than, let's say, 300 milligrams at once, it could also just be the high dose itself. So try cutting your dose in half or spacing it out over the day in two or three doses. And finally, make sure to support your whole electrolyte system. In the body, it's never just about one nutrient, and balance of the whole system is always key. If you want to analyze your levels on a deeper level, then I will link my favorite test below. This will help you if you suspect that there is more going on than just a potassium deficiency.